I promised you Darren Mulligan was going to stop by, and he is here. Yes, sir. And he brought uh, ice cream with him, and uh, you didn't bring any for the rest of us. No, I'm a very selfish man. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I would do the same thing if I were in your shoes. It's good to have you here today. Yeah. So I'm, I'm dying to hear, what was life like growing up in Ireland? Yeah, beautiful. I uh, grew up with very little of the stuff and the things and uh, grew up with all the love and support. And Those are the important things. Yeah. You know, sometimes people talk about being poor or in poverty. Mm -hmm. I never knew we were poor. I had everything I ever needed. Yeah, if you don't and have it, you don't know it. Yeah, I've never missed stuff or things. I don't love the stuff money can buy. I love the relationships God has given me. And uh, my mom and dad taught me how to uh, be a decent human and live a decent life. And uh, beautifully, my mom and dad both just came to Jesus at 76, so we get to baptize them next month oh, that's in amazing. our little church in Ireland. That's going to be quite a quite a day right there. Ah, uh, yeah. Listen, uh. the Lord is faithful. Every promise he ever made, he's coming good on. Yeah. Now, you uh, came to America pretty shortly after your band was formed. Yeah. Uh, you formed the band. How quickly did that happen, and what was that uh, like? Um, that was uh, God opening a door yeah. that we didn't want to walk through. <laughs> right. And... Uh, we walked through the door. We had three kids at the time. We left everything we knew and loved. Ended up in Franklin, Tennessee, and we went about the work that God had called us to. Loving yeah. people, one by one, writing songs that didn't lie, that told the truth. And we've got to travel the world doing something we love to do for an audience that we love. You know, at our shows, I used to think the audience was coming out to see us. Mm -hmm. But Dan, we've been coming out to see them. Right. They're the treasure in the field of our life. And uh, this is the greatest privilege of my life to do this. Yeah. Darren, that's amazing. I hope you can hang out with us a little while here. We've yeah. we got more questions to ask. Our audience have things they want to know. So we're going to keep you right here with us. Let's go. Darren Mulligan from We Are Messengers. More on the way. Cheers. God be the glory. That's God be the glory. We are messengers. We have Darren Mulligan from the band here right now. We're chatting a little bit. Um, I want to hear the story about how you came to the Lord. Oh, mate, I am. I came to the Lord because I found a woman. Yeah. And she found me, and God put us together, and we were both a mess and broken and lost as lost could be. Okay. And she came to have this radical encounter with Jesus, and he restored and healed her of so many things. And I was, uh, I was an atheist at the time. Oh, wow. And I just saw this change in her. It was joy. I only know it now. I didn't yeah. know it then. And I was really attracted to it. Started going to church just because I saw the change in her. And one night the pastor was preaching. He said, you're dead in your sin. You need Jesus. You need mercy. And I nearly fell out of my seat. Because for the first time in my life, I believed he was real and I believed I was dead. Right. So I came to Jesus, honestly, out of fear. Okay. Because I knew I was a dead man walking. Okay. But a year later, when I told my wife of all of the affairs I had had and the things I had done that I was ashamed of in the night, and she threw her arms around me and kissed me and told me she loved me, I realized that the love of God was real. I came out of fear and I stayed because of love. And I've been with Jesus 16 years, and only in the last three years have I found that joy that she found. Yeah. This experience for everyone is different. There's no one size fits all. Right. Um, but for those of you listening today, I promise you God's taken all of your sorrow. He's turned it to joy. He's taken all of that mourning. He's turned it into laughter. And he's turning your feet towards dancing. To God be the glory. For to his God glory. Be the glory. That ties in perfectly with your song. Yeah. Yeah, it's a process for sure. And a beautiful story. We thank you for sharing. Thank you. We want to hear more from you. I'm hoping you can hang out a little longer. Let's go. All right. Z88.3. 127, I am Dan. We're talking with Darren Mulligan from We Are Messengers. You mentioned you're going to be landing in Dublin. Now, are you traveling back and forth a lot? Yeah, yeah. So we moved back home to Ireland. We oh. live in a little cottage built in the 1800s wow, between two cool. mountains. And yeah. uh, so I'll be home tomorrow morning. Hopefully okay. get home before the kids go to school and kiss yeah. them goodbye. So that's a so. permanent move. You decided to make, you, make your way back there for, for good? Yeah, I wanted to raise my kids around their family uh, yeah. in a very ordinary community where gotcha. people know me as the son of Frank and Carmel, okay. not as the guy who sings the songs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's been beautiful watching them integrate. And so I'm loving the different phases. Yeah. I love my life. I'm full. I'm satisfied in Jesus. And uh, there is nothing any man, woman or beast can give me to make me feel more full in the Lord.